You are watching this video because you need to fill your empty coolant tank with a brand new charge of fresh coolant. You might be wondering, what's the best concentration for my coolant? Concentrations ranging from 6 to 10% provide optimal performance for most coolants. Check with your coolant supplier just to be sure. Let's look at a quick and simple method to mix your coolant. We'll be filling the tank on this VF3YT. For the Haas 55-gallon tank, you will need 4 gallons of concentrate to put your coolant in the middle of that 6 to 10% range. We need to mix these 4 gallons of concentrate with water before adding them to the tank. When mixing concentrate with water, we always use a 4 to 1 water to concentrate ratio. Remember, we have 4 gallons of concentrate. This means we need to mix 4 total buckets using this ratio. When you start a new batch of coolant, like we are here, it is best to use tap water. The minerals in the water provide surfaces for the oils and additives to adhere to, giving the best mixture for most coolants. Add the 4 gallons of tap water first to a graduated bucket then add one gallon of concentrate. Mix all of it together. Remember to always add the water first and then add the concentrate and never the other way around. Here is a visual demonstration of mixing both the right and wrong way. On the left is the correct sequence where concentrate is poured into the water. You can see how easily the concentrate disperses. On the right, we start with concentrate in the container. This is incorrect. As the water is poured in, you can see that it tends to clump together separately from the concentrate. Although this abnormal concentration is purely for demonstration purposes, we see nonetheless that the water doesn't mix readily into the concentrate. With everything mixed together in the proper order, empty the mixed bucket into the tank. When we've added the four mixed buckets, all the concentrate we need is now in the tank. Now, all that's left to do is top off the tank. But how should we top it off? At this point, you might think we'd recommend you just finish filling the tank with plain water. But when you add water to some mixed coolants, it may not emulsify correctly. So, we will take the safest path and top off our tank with a low concentration mixture. To do this, we'll make 1% buckets by mixing 7 ounces of concentrate into each 5-gallon bucket of water that we add to the tank. Using these 1% buckets will ensure that everything mixes uniformly as we finish filling the tank. When the tank is full and well mixed, check the concentration using a refractometer. Our coolant sample shows a reading just below 8%, right in the middle of our desired 6 to 10% range. Be sure to check out the Tools of Coolant video for information about using a refractometer. Run the coolant system for 30 minutes to give the coolant one final mix. What if you have a different sized coolant tank, or you want a certain concentration? To answer either of these questions, we'll need to do some basic calculations. The 95-gallon tank on this VF6 is ready to be refilled. This machine has been running a 6% concentration effectively. And starting in the 6% range means we won't waste any expensive concentrate. First, we'll calculate the total concentrate needed for the tank. We want to hit a concentration of 6%. So we take our target 6% number and change it to 0.06, and then we add a 1 to that. 1.06 represents our 6% concentration. Next, we divide our tank size by the 1.06 number, which equals 89.62. So, we need 89.62 gallons of water. Then, we subtract 89.62 from our tank size to get 5.38. So we need 5.38 gallons of concentrate. 
Using our 4 to 1 ratio again, we'll distribute the 5.38 gallons into 6 buckets. 5 buckets with a gallon of concentrate each. And the 6th bucket gets the final 0.38 gallons of concentrate. Remember, using the graduated bucket again, it's 4 gallons of tap water first and then 1 gallon of concentrate until you get to the 5 gallon mark. Mix it completely and pour it in the tank. Now, all the concentrate we need is in the tank. All that's left to do is top off the tank and mix thoroughly. Unfortunately, this machine has been using a concentrate that does not emulsify very easily. So, once again, we will make 1% buckets to fill the remainder of the tank. With the tank full, we can take our reading. Despite using 1% buckets to finish filling the tank, our refractometer still displays a value of just above 6% bricks, meaning this 1 to 1 ratio coolant also has an actual concentration of just over 6%. Reinstall the tank cover panels, push the tank under the machine, and drop the pumps and level sensor into place. Run the coolant system for 30 minutes to finish the mixing. For more information on topping up your coolant tank, the tools of coolant maintenance, and an overview of coolant maintenance, see our other videos in this series. Thank you for watching.